Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. All right, class. Assalamualaikum. And uh, this is just a supplementary optional video for the solution of RHEL 2.6, which uh, many students are asking about how to solve it. Apparently, uh, this problem is not that difficult, and it is actually not that difficult. Uh, this uh, problem relates to the infinite uniform sheet of charges. Uh, the charge distribution is given to us two dimensional sheet of charges and finite with constant magnitudes and their location are also given that this first uh, charge density which is of three nanocoulombs per meter square is located at z equals to minus four plane and the second one is at z equals one plane and the third one is at z equals four plane uh, and we are asked to find the electric field intensity in its vector form obviously uh, at these four points uh, each point is given as a separate part so let's try to uh, plot the charge distribution first then later on we'll uh, see the uh, that we'll take the field points individually and see where these field points are lying so uh, I have uh, drawn the axis such that the, we can only see the z-axis and the y-axis, okay. We don't need to find uh, the x-axis because actually we know that uh, from our uh, discussion of infinite sheet of charges, uh, we know that the electric field intensity due to an infinite uniform sheet of charge density is given by rho s which is the charge density divided by 2 epsilon naught so the magnitude is independent of the of the uh, position and the direction of the field at any point due to that infinite uniform uh, infinite uniform sheet of charges is normal to the sheet itself so uh, since we don't need to find the uh, distance between the field point or the source or the sheet itself so we don't have to be very exact uh, but we have to draw this situation this diagram in order to correctly identify this normal vector in the direction which is normal to the plane so obviously if uh, all the sheets are lying on some z equals to constant plane like in this case so that one thing is for sure that a n would either be a z or a n would be minus of a z because these are the only two possibilities these are the only two possibilities uh, for which uh, we would say that these uh, these vectors are perpendicular to z equals constant planes so only for this reason will we will have to draw the diagram otherwise we uh, would not need to calculate we don't have to calculate the uh, the distance between the field point and the sheet so uh, let's say this is z equals 1 Okay. and this is z equals 4 so and this is z equals minus 4 so this blue line is actually the sheet lying at z equals minus 4 and whose magnitude is given by density is given by 3 nanocoulombs per meter square and the second one is lying on z equals to one here and its magnitude is given by six nanocoulombs per meter square and the fourth one which is lying at z equals to four would intersect z axis somewhere at z equals four and would bear the magnitude of minus eight nanocoulombs per meter square so now before proceeding mindlessly we should remember that the field due to 
uh, let's say this infinite sheet of charges the direction of the field magnitude we are not interested because magnitude does not depend on the field point or the distance of the field point uh, with respect to the source rather this uh, this uh, direction can be ambiguous until and unless the relative position of this field point with respect to the source is known so before considering these four field points we should consider that what would be the direction of the field due to each and every uh, due to each of these three sheet of charges so this is a positively charged sheet so obviously if I would take a point charge uh, if I would take uh, the field point somewhere below this meaning that at that field point there is a positive jet charge so that will be pushed away of this uh, sheet and if the field point is somewhere here here so this sheet will push that jet charge away okay and for this any field point below this sheet would be in downwards direction and any uh, field point above this sheet would have field in the direction which is above so the, the direction which is above is az which is pointing upward as az the one which is pointing downward is minus az same here okay and the field point which is below the top sheet since the top, top sheet is negative it will attract every sheet every uh, positive jet charge towards it so if we would push if we would put some uh, jet charge here 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 or anywhere below the sheet it will be attracted towards the sheet itself and if we put any jet charge above that uh, sheet it will be pulled towards it so in that case the direction of the uh, field would be different so now let's consider part A okay let's consider part A so in part A we know that the field x and y they are immaterial because it does not matter whether uh, okay let's let's discuss the uh, point itself first the z component tells us that this point a is going to be somewhere uh, below this sheet which is located at z equals to minus 4 so uh, the the field point p a is located below this sheet of charges and this 2 and 5 it is immaterial whether it does it does not matter whether this point charge is here or here or here or above the plane here here as long as uh, it is below this uh, sheet we don't need to calculate we don't need to worry about the coordinates of x and y okay so because the magnitude is independent of the of the uh, distance so but uh, the third the third coordinate becomes important just to uh, locate the relative position of the field point with respect to the three sheets so now this third coordinate tells us that this field point is below uh, this uh, this 3 nanocoulomb per meter square sheet so obviously in this case what will happen is the following let me solve part A so uh, for part A the total electric field intensity at point A is given by is given by electric field intensity at point A due to rho s1 plus electric field intensity at point A due to rho S2 plus electric field intensity at point A due to rho S3 okay so electric field intensity due to rho S1 rho S1 is this one rho S1 
this is row S2 and this one is row S3 so electric field intensity due to this one is given by the magnitude is given by rho s which is 3 nano 3 nano divided by 2 epsilon now at uh, this field due to this sheet at this point at any point below this sheet will be in minus z minus a z direction this direction is minus a z so the direction is minus a z plus field at point A uh, at point P A due to the second charge is given by the magnitude is rho s which is 6 expo nano 6 exponent minus 9 divided by 2 epsilon naught and we have already discovered that any point which is lying below this sheet will be will have the electric field intensity in the direction of minus az so obviously this point is below so the direction of the field will be minus az plus electric field intensity due to the third surface charge density which is this and we have already discovered the magnitude okay let's talk about the magnitude the magnitude is rho s divided by 2 epsilon naught so rho s is 8 8 nano upon 2 epsilon naught and what about the direction we have already discovered that whatever the field uh, if you take the field point anywhere below this sheet it will be pushed in the direction of az so the direction of az will be the direction of the field will be az okay so remember that we don't have to we should not we must not put minus sign here because the effect of minus sign has already been considered here it has already been considered here okay so we don't need to uh, write minus here so after solving this what you will get what you should get is minus 56.6 minus 56.6 AZ volts per meter so this is how you'll solve this problem drill 2.6 and you can do all the problems in the similar manner let's talk about a little bit about part C just for the sake of uh, an, a variety so this is z equals to 1 okay so we have to uh, locate this point pc which is lying on z equals 2 plane so some plane which is above z equals to 1 plane so pc is somewhere here so it does not matter what what the coordinates of x and y are what the what the values of x and y uh, is uh, because that z should give us the relative position using which we will have to decide the direction of electric field intensity so, so electric field intensity at point c is given by electric field intensity at point c due to rho s1 plus electric field intensity at C due to rho s2 electric field intensity uh, at point C due to rho s3 so rho s2 and rho s3 okay so this is rho s1 was uh, 3 nano so 3 nano divided by 2 epsilon naught the direction of uh, the direction of field at this point due to rho s1 will be upward because it is a positively charged sheet any jet charge put above the sheet will be pushed in the direction of az so the direction is a z plus 
electric field intensity due to the second sheet is magnitude is given by 6 nano rho s 2 divided by 2 epsilon naught so again this is a positively charged sheet it will push any uh, jet charge above it in the direction of az so we'll get az and then the sheet which the third one will have the magnitude 8 nano divided by 2 epsilon naught this sheet will pull any point charge positively charged point charge or positive point charge below it so the direction will be az so remember that we don't have we must not put minus here because we have already considered the effect of minus sign here by choosing by saying that any charge which is below the sheet will be pushed towards this which will be pulled toward uh, this uh, negatively charged sheet any charge any point charge or any field point above this sheet negatively charged sheet will you know pull a positively charge or a positive charge towards it so direction of the field has already been considered so the effect of minus sign has already been considered while deciding the direction of the field which is this towards the sheet in the case of negatively charged sheets so you uh, solve it and inshallah you'll get the right answer and that would be 961 approximately kz volts per meter i hope this would help you all assalamu alaikum